that you were doing the interview, right? Yeah, yeah. That was a really cool place. But not maybe the weather to stay indoors to play games. It's really nice outside. And especially for this week, right? You can't play outside. I mean, eSports. You could maybe set up in your garage, maybe you open could. the door. Maybe you could. The weather's <laughs> been really fantastic. Let's take you back outside. Here's a live look from our BJC Skycam network. I mean, the temperature's really spring-like today, way above average. In addition, though, in the last few hours, some clouds have been rolling in. Despite that, we're still 60 degrees in downtown in Edwardsville, 59 in Eureka, 55 in North County. Okay, so here's St. Louis. You can see all the clouds but not seeing any precipitation in any of those clouds. However, there's a little weak cold front that's going to move through the area overnight. It could generate sprinkles, light rain at best, and that would mainly be while you're sleeping between, say, midnight and 5 a.m. So if it even happens, it's gone before you wake up. Here's how it looks on the super projector starting the clock at 11 p.m. So it's not a lot. Again, light rain or sprinkles mainly in the middle of the overnight and gone prior to daybreak. So with that said, when you wake up tomorrow morning, it's mostly sunny, hardly any wind at all. Temperatures are in the upper 30s. And then as we move through the day, a lot like today, really, we're mostly sunny at 9 a.m., 48. By noon, we're up to 56. By 3 p.m., we're mostly sunny in 62. And then by 7 p.m., partly cloudy in 55. So here we go, uh, or here we continue, really with our extremely mild February. All right, let's talk about our next sort of more significant chance of rain. Tuesday night after midnight, we have a chance of seeing a, a few showers out there. Uh, could have some of those lingering into the Wednesday morning commute, but really the better chance of rain creeps up into the afternoon. And this looks to be a widespread soaking rain across the area. I do expect that it affects the Wednesday afternoon commute and then finally moves out of the area Wednesday night. In terms of how much accumulation we're expecting, I think about a half an inch in the St. Louis area is a safe bet. As we get a little bit northwest of St. Louis, a half an inch to maybe one and a quarter on the high side. And then south and east of St. Louis, it's more like half an inch or less. I should mention as well, while it's mostly rain, we could get a few rumbles of thunder in there. Not expecting severe weather at this time. If that changes, we'll let you know, but mostly widespread rain with a few embedded thunderstorms. So let's take it through the details of the forecast. I hear many of you have the day off tomorrow. It's going to be a nice one. Mostly sunny and 62. Winds not really an issue. Tuesday, only slightly cooler, 56. Remember, mid 40s are average for this time of year. So these numbers way above average. For Wednesday, widespread rain and breezy. Despite that, it's still shall I say warm near 70 for Thursday. It's breezy and 63, but nothing but sun. Then it gets cool Friday. We see a return to more typical February weather. If you will, it's dry during the day. We only see a high of 42. Notice we start the morning in the 20s and then Friday night. We have some rain move back in. So after two really fabulous weekends of weather in a row next weekend might be a little bit more dreary. We do have some chances of rain in the forecast on both Saturday and Sunday, uh, but despite that, those temperatures are still very, very mild. We'll take it, Chris, and that looks awesome. Thank you. The blue